Looking for the third hit to the far side. Pin. they'll send it back over to the back line. Got to there by Bruggeman. Near side, Pitton looking to set Arneson. No, good save there. Back on the far side by Shisago Lakes. Still working back across the midcourt area. Looking for a third hit set by the libero this time as it's back over and kill. The start thing for Matamidi with the authority. Zephyrs get the kill first. Normally this is where as well you would see a three person officiating crew normally done by perhaps parents in attendance, not for the sections. As it's all Minnesota State High School League officials here tonight. On the third hit, Willie with the set on the libero. Off the line, nicely done as Arneson and Mead combine to get the block by Ella Weinzel, the junior. Arneson the dig. Booster looking back. Arneson near pin, trying to find it. Dead. Great kill by Arneson. Matamidi takes the ball back, four serving one. Abby Zins to take command. Zins across on the dig. Tipped up one try. Arneson kills it. Catherine Arneson with the kill for the Matamira Zephyrs. Now three on the evening. Zephyrs will retake possession. Cameron Peterson in to serve the libero, the senior. Across responded to by Willie for Chisago Lakes. Third hit looking to connect. Zins. Ooh, great dig back on the far side. Recovered Peterson. Looking on the third hit. Knocked over by Kylie Poole. The far side pin. Tipped over. Blocked the line by Great Sir. Still kept alive. Chisago thought they had it. They didn't. To the near side, third hit, foul for the point for Matamidi. Ruggeman across on the dig, Willie. Third hit, near side pin, blocks the line, nicely done. Sylvie Greitzer, the sophomore. Points in the mirror to be coming here for Matamidi, but right now it's eight serving 17. And sure enough, there it is, the 18th point. And Blair Shemnowski picks up a kill, her second. Kelly moves to serve, 21 serving 10. Back across, looking here to the near side. Now back to the far side, pin jump down, but saved by Booster on the third hit, no. The rule of carry, I believe, a lift is what it's called. And so it'll be 11 serving 21 now. For the Wildcats, across, Ruggum in the dig. Look back, Booster, far side, pin Ruggum in on the third hit, sends it back over, recovered here by the Wildcats. Chip back over. Dig Ruggeman, set Booster, far side pin, looking for Arneson, and a great save on response that time by Winnetzel. On the dig, near the line, Booster sends it high, Ruggeman third hit over, and that'll come back down off the top of the basketball hoop. Sent back over, block the line, Arneson rally continues. Willie on the third hit, back over, Arneson the dig, Booster the set, looking Arneson, far pin, kill for the Zephyr. One serving zero, Chisago Lakes leading now in the second set. Across the dig, Peterson. Booster, near side pin, Arneson. Ooh, sent back over, really with a great play. They're able to keep it alive. Once more down, kill to the far side pin. Fantastic by the outside hitter, Abby Sins, the junior. One serving two here in the second set. Sent back across, great dig by Willie here to the near side, wide setting. Locked to the line, one tip over. Peterson makes the dig. Near side, Bruggeman tries to kill. <laughs> Catley Poole, the defensive specialist. Across Brianna Willie. Into the midcourt area, Willie will have to send it across on the third hit. Dig Poole, Booster set, looking for it as Meade is able to send it across. Wildcats looking for the response, looking for the kill. Abby Zins finds it on the near side seam. Outside hitter Abby Zins with a great kill. We're all level at three. Seven serving eight. Wildcats have not led since three serving two. Back across and foul that team again. We're all tied up in the second set, eight to eight. 11 serving eight. Willie on the dig. In the middle of the field this time. Shannon's tip back over. Great dig by Bruggeman trying to keep it alive. Third hit shoved across by Booster. Looking to set on the near side. And Seifert tries to find a great save on the diving effort by Arneson. Get back to run down a kill that's credited here to Abby Bruggeman and the Zephyr lead is four. In service, 16 serving 11. Dug by Willie. Kept high into the air this time, Cameron Peterson. Booster looking to set Arneson, far side pin. They were to get to it there that time. Unresponsive to Aurelius. Booster, near side pin, looking connect, tipped over to the back line. Great reach for Pizens. 
Back to the near side, Seifert tips it over. Peterson, Booster, Farpin, Arneson tipped it over. Great save once more by Willie on the dig for Chisago Lakes. Zenz looking for the feed, found it on the back line. 15 serving 18, the substitutions now. Ashley Craig returns for Chisago Lakes. Pool on the dig, right into the net. Arneson able to send it back over on the third hit. Looking to set near side, players collide, Pool. Back to it here from Anamidai. Booster looking to set, tipped over Arneson, blocked the line, they'll reciprocate right back. White settle. Arneson keeps it back on the Chisago Lake side. Back once more, good dig by Poole towards the bench. Another great play by Booster. Third hit, Arneson sends it back over. Well, we've been treated to some great rallies tonight for both of these teams, but that rally had to end. So says Chisago Lakes. 20 serving 17. Anamidai is leaving by a tally of one set to none. Sent back over, blocks the line, nicely done. Tip it back over. This one's not high into the air. To the near side. Shimnowski on the dig. Booster looking to set once more. Boom! <laughs> Sylvie Gritzer picks up the kill. Her second. 21-17, Matamidi. But there was a matchup in Section 4A's hockey final last March. Now between these two teams. One, of course, by Matamida. 22-17, Zephyrs. Kill. Boom! Oh! Gretzer picks up another kill. It'll be blocked to the line. Off the pin, and it'll be a point for Matamida. I'm to continue the rally. Saga Lakes, meanwhile, are trailing after two sets. It's been a position they found themselves unfortunately familiar with. They're winless this season when trailing after two sets, 0 17 and 0. Willie sends it across. Brugman plays it. She didn't necessarily need to, but chose to. Arneson. Willie responds to the Wildcats. Set by one settle. Left in line. Point for Matamida. We're serving seven now. Libero, Brianna, Willie. Booster. Far pin. Arneson. Slam. Oh, Jamma. Catherine Arneson, the right side for Matamida. Picks up her seventh kill of the evening. Now, Bailey Nelson. Six serving nine. Harness in the dig. Booster, to the far side pin, goes down to the near for Bruggeman. Unable to do so, Poole makes one fine effort at it. And racing for it to try to get to it was Catherine Arneson, but could not do so. To the back side. Another one settle. In service across, dig, near side. Arneson looking for it. Really with another great dig. Oh, she's been fantastic tonight. And there's a kill for the Wildcats as they continue their round. Now leading again by three. Set back over. Keeping alive here this time is Matamidi. Grace Hansen is able to make the fine play on a booster. Arneson, Arneson blocked the line that time. Nicely done that time, Norelius. Bugman sends it over. Looking once more, third hit, shoved across. Norelius, stick by Poole. Booster looking to set near pin. Arneson, spin, and got to that time by Abby Bruggeman. Willie across, Bruggeman the dig. Looking back once more, got to Booster. Great play on the response by Zins. Sent back over, far pin, block, down, point on Midai. For Chisago Lakes looking for their first set victory against Matamidi this season. Near side, sent over. Hopes kept alive for Matamina and the kill by Sylvie Gretzer. Bruggeman across, 22 serving 24. Battle for the line, far side pin sent over that time by Morelius and down. And Chisago Lake steals victory in this third set. The Wildcats, with Brianna Williams service. Great dig that time by Poole. Arneson on the third hit sends it back over. John two wide settle. Back across, tip near the line. Booster makes a fine play on the ball. And a look setting here near side, Bruggeman. Set back over Zins in the dig for the Wildcats. And near side, Zins jumps it over on the third hit. Peterson, Booster, far pin, looking Arneson. Boom! Stick hanging. Catherine Arneson, kill number nine, Zephyrs by two. Willie. Back off to the far side, tip back over Peterson the dig. Booster looking back into the middle of the court. Oh, and unable to put it back into the field of play as the outstretched arm 
Oh, Bailey Nelson was unable to get to the ball. The rally continues now. Monomini leads by one. Monomini in front by four. Let's set smack by as many as 11. That was just in the first set. The other two previous have been much more competitive, as has this fourth. Booster near pin, looking to connect. Sent back over. Dowell found the save in the back corner. The Zephyr lead is five. Ragaman to continue. 13 serving eight. Willie on the dig. Nelson on the second hit. Now on the third, Zins will field it over and across. Brugman, Booster, near side, slam down. Found it on the back side. Sylvie Gratzer, six kills on the evening. The Zephyr lead is six. Zephyr's 10 points away from victory. An opportunity at a section 4-3A championship. Tipped across, Brugman the dig. Booster. Looking middle of the court that time. Ooh, a great block by Tiana Ritter for Chisago Lakes. Set back over. Oh, 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 oh. Sylvie Gritzer finds it with precision in the back line. Seven. 20 serving 11. At least that's not what they'd hope to say. It's 20 serving 9, actually. Mooster to the near side. Looking for Shemnowski off the hand. The outstretched arms of Zins diving to her right. The lead now, 12, largest lead of any set tonight for Matamida. 22 serving nine. Set back over. Oh, Hansen found it. Hansen found it beautifully. On the front line for the Matamida Zephyrs. For the Matamida Zephyrs, a point away from the section championship game. Brothers for Mooster. Then back over, Hansen tips it over. Dig to the near side. Mommy Dye advances. <laughs> After a competitive second and third set, the Mommy Zephyrs left no doubt in set number four.